On this video I'm going to show you how to uh, use Ajax to uh, fill uh, a combo box depending on the uh, selection on a first combo box. So uh, the very first thing is to set up the connection. In this case I have on my computer a database for zip codes this is the connection I think it's this way ok, zip codes the database contains only a table which is zip code and it's a very very big uh, table with all the uh, zip codes of uh, United States also with uh, latitude and things like that what we are interested in is in the state and city. I'm going to set up a combo box with uh, all the states and then depending on the selection of the state I'm going to show uh, uh, a drop down with all the cities uh, on that state. So uh, I'm going to create a new SQL window and what I'm going to do first is to get a list of all states this is what I get, I need to group by the state and also sort by the name of the, the state this is the, the list I get Okay. so this is my SQL I'm going to create a new form On that form I drop the connection we need to do to the database which is already set up with everything we need and then I'm going to use a query component. This query component I'm going to set it up uh, active, this is the database to use, I'm not going to limit the results and this is the query we are going to use. So now let's uh, drop a combo box here. This is going to be the states uh, combo box. And before it shows, I'm going to uh, fill up this combo with the information. Clear the combo box then I'm going to be sure we are going to the first record and while not I get to the last record I iterate through all the result sets and this I'm going to add a new item which is going to be in this case is the state prefix ok, okay. now save everything we are going to create here a new folder going to run and this is what I get a drop down combo with all the uh, states ok now the second part is to get a list of uh, uh, cities depending on the uh, state so what I'm going to do is to get the city and a state prefix and what I'm going to do is uh, that the state should be, for the example, this uh, example I'm going to choose California. I need to sort by uh, the city name, so you can see it. And then there are many duplicates because this is a zip code uh, database, so I'm going to group by a state prefix. Wait a moment. C 
city and here it is okay this is the result set we need and these are all the cities in California so this is our query copy to the clipboard and now repeat the same process drop a query component active to true database we need to use no limit SQL okay and now we are going to drop a combo and before it shows repeat the same process with another query and another component this combo box 2 query 2 query 2 and the field we want to show is the city so save this one run and here it's the uh, states combo and this is the city combo at this moment it's filter uh, hard code by uh, the state of uh, California so uh, what we need to do now is to set up this query to use a uh, parameter for this uh, we use the parents property we set here uh, CA and here we change this by the question mark. So if we run again we get exactly the the same result but now our, our query is uh, uh, parameterized. So uh, what we need to do now is to uh, uh, on the uh, changing event of this combo box using JavaScript what we need to do is to call using Ajax to the server in this case we are going to uh, force Ajax call we are going to call the combo box to before show we are not going to send any parameters and we are going to tell that we only want to get the combo box to refresh and now uh, we need to set up the use ajax property to true we are not going this is not going to work yet because we are not using the parameter okay it's not uh, working yet but uh, what we need to do is to use the parameter we have sent I'm going to ensure or uppercase and so on it's it's okay and what uh, we need to do now is on the before show we are going to uh, use the parameter sent by the first combo close query state and state is going to be combo box one items combo box one item index this is our state and then instead first just open the query and that's it I missed that this one okay For the first uh, call, there is no information, but if we change the state, then the AJAX is uh, performed and we get the, the list of items we are looking for. For example, here it's Scott's Valley. And for example, if we change to, let's see, New York. we get a list of 
uh, New York cities to Texas or wherever. Okay. So as you can see, it's very easy, and the the amount of code code is is uh, uh, very little. Okay. Bye.